You know what? I'm going to go for it. There's a sound check going on in the background. The rain has stopped. There is sun in the sky. South by Southwest is one of the busiest times of years for tech enthusiasts, film, media, music, comedy. Uh, and every year I come over here. Normally, for the All About team, Steve, David and Rafe would find some nice bit of tech, a challenge for me. You know, maybe try and stay connected by buying a phone and spending only $250 on the whole thing and not having a contract at the end. <laughs> Trying out the latest, greatest smartphones that will be out in the market at some point in the very near future. But unfortunately, none of that is happening this year. I just got a simple cryptic message that Brett Murray from Nokia would have the challenge for me. And he's head of American PR? No, nope, I had an influencer in lifestyle marketing. Cool. Just for America or for the whole world? Uh, for North America. Right. So he probably got something that's very important to people in Texas coming up. A power cord. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Sound check over. Brett, you have the challenge for me. I do. And I understand challenge. it is impressive and worthwhile and worthy. We're, that's exactly what we're aiming for. So, you want to know what I want you to do? Yep. Okay. I want you to plant some trees. Right, the Nokia tree. I've not seen that before. Well, we're going to use a special tool. I want you to use this. A pink phone. A pink phone. A... <laughs> it is a Nokia Lumia 800. Okay, so these are the ones that have come off the entertainment pack. That is exactly right. Okay, actually, I mean, very briefly, that's when they priced, got priced, priced quite high and caught a lot of people out, isn't it? Yeah, uh, that would be because there is, there's no carrier yeah. contractor subsidy, so um, they're unlocked devices. We, we've talked a lot before about how the carrier subsidy is so important. Anyway, talk about these trees. So, um, just of it is, uh, last year, Austin, Central Texas, was completely ravaged by fire. So, um, you know, we, we all go to all these conventions, all these different events, and we descend on a town like Park City for Sundance or Austin for this. And obviously, I think they appreciate our business, but at the same time, you always have this sense of like, what, what do we leave behind? And at the same time, obviously, Nokia is a reemerging brand in North America. And we're, we're in the process of trying to get people such as yourself to get the devices and play with them. So we're thinking about how we, how we kind of blend them together sort of give back that I don't know if we're going to work this out check or not but we'll see um, so what the concept that we came up with was how do we drive people to use them um, have fun with them at the same time and actually do something right for Austin so what uh, the program we came up with we're calling it I just planted a tree uh, you can go to www.ijustplantedatree.com and uh, starting tonight, this Sunday night, uh, 5 p.m. Central Time, we are going to issue a challenge out to 50 people who have substantial social followings. You mean 49 and me? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. We'll count you since you're in the room. Um, and, uh, and we're going to say it's go time. And for 48 hours, every time that they tweet and use the hashtag, I just planted a tree. Um, I don't care if you're talking about the bar barbecue you just had or the party you're at or whatever. Um, we're going to plant five trees in the Austin area. Uh, we're going to double that amount of trees if you do pictures. And we're going to do rallies throughout the 48 hours uh, where we're going to be doing triple trees and double trees and fun things like that. And then the idea is uh, we're on the cusp of launching the Lumia 900 here in North America with AT&T. And we will, whoever places the top three as far as pl trees planted, uh, we are going to um, give you a Lumia 900 a week before launch so that you have bragging rights. That, that's nice that you've not actually mentioned the date there, I've noticed. Yeah, yeah, my PR people will kill me. Oh. <laughs> what if I mention the date? Oh, by all means. So I've, I've got a what, one in one in what thirty shot of getting it right and having you killed. Uh, yeah, pretty much. How many trees do I get for that? Uh, it, probably none because I'll be dead and the program won't be able to go through. No, I'm not going to bother with that then. <laughs> Nobody has the phones. I don't have them. <laughs> but no, here, here's an important thing. I mean, you, you mentioned there that no Nokia is it's a very finished thing. Yeah. Th this sort of thing to do, but it's also Nokia got a tough time with it going into the North American market. There Absolutely. are some very strong established brands, yeah. and there's let's be honest there's some negative connotations both to Microsoft and to, to Windows on a smartphone and to Nokia as well it's yep. how choppy have the waters been since February the 11th last year 
you know what the waters were instantly ferociously choppy because you know there were there were quotes out there as we were talking about earlier along the lines of two turkeys don't make an eagle and i think it, it was one of those things that you know at, at that time i'd actually already become a windows phone fan i had a, a friend who showed me one of the devices a week before uh, windows phone launched over in london um and i immediately went out and got a windows phone device so i could play with it which one was it uh, it was a samsung focus and you know what I was amazed. I was amazed, and I it came to the realization that this was something new. This is an operating system crafted after social networks had come into being, and the first one. And they just did a beautiful job. I mean, if you haven't seen it, the Metro user interface is great. So I knew they had something, and I was already a fan before we made the announcement on February 11th. And But very few people have seen it. Very few people have gotten exposure to it. So they, the association, Windows, and Windows Mobile versus Windows Phone, a lot of people didn't realize that they had recrafted something from scratch. So um, I think we kind of had to keep the faith internally until we started to see the devices internally. And we're like, okay, we've got something beautiful here. And you know, the, the Lumia 800 is a beautiful, beautiful device. The Lumia 900 is more powerful, bigger screen. And the good news is ever since I've been able to carry one of our devices publicly and show it, people it it shows people are kind of hungry for new stuff i mean and it's not just tech geeks so um you know what i actually think that we're we're in this fight and it's uh it's been amazingly positive response here at south by so uh you know and everybody who's come by who's going to participate in the program they um they're excited obviously to play with new technology but also i think they're excited by the concept of doing good of kind of a cause-based marketing thing um, and as we were talking about Nokia, it's a Finnish company. Um, I, I lived in Denmark for a year. I know Nordic cultures pretty well. I've spent a lot of time in Finland. I've gone over about 20 times since I started working for Nokia. And you know, Nordic mindset is very, very different than especially an American mindset. American mindset, cash, cash, cash. And um, the Nordic mindset is more about kind of equalization and common good and, and that sort of thing. That's why they have strong welfare states and all of that. And Nokia has an amazing green record. And I have worked at other organizations in the past that are American based that are my competitors now. And um, they just don't think that way. Whereas I would ask somebody at Nokia, why, why are we doing this program around, you know, I don't know, you could name it, around recyclables, around um, conflict minerals or, or whatever it is. And they just kind of give you a look like it's it's the right thing to do. Why wouldn't we do that? And that is a Nordic mindset. And it's 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 a fun thing to be part of because, you know, living and, and doing my whole career in Silicon Valley, you know, the valley in many ways is descended from hippie culture. And everybody wants to drive Ferraris, but they also want to save the world. And when you get up in the morning, you you want to have a cause. And this is kind of a cause. It's a cause to help Nokia resurge and reemerge, and we finally get beautiful products to do it. But also at the same time, um, you can do a lot of good. I mean, I was, uh, I was doing something back in September with um, Cirque du Soleil. And um, Guy Le Liberté, the uh, founder of Cirque, he has a charity called One Drop. And One Drop is all about clean drinking water and growth economies. So I, I, we were doing something that was going to be kind of uh, involve a premiere down in L.A. and all of that. And we wanted to sponsor it and the, it would go towards the charity and all this. And I contacted our people in Helsinki and said, so um, I don't know if we have any interest in clean drinking water, but... I'd love to hear, you know, what you think of this. And they're like, oh, we, which of the six clean drinking water programs would you like to hear about? <laughs> and I mean, I was, I was blown away. I'm an internal person and I didn't know this was going on. So they just kind of humbly keep doing the right thing. And um, that's a great thing. That's, that's fun to be part of. And this, my goal personally for this program is I want to see 10,000 trees planted in 48 hours. Not by you personally. Well, you never know. <laughs> you know, I'm Scottish. You've given me a challenge and there's something at the end of it. You know, it's just like, yeah. But let's go back to the mindset because the mindset of people attending South by Interactive, it's yep. very geeky. It's very techy. It's great that they love the 900s and the 800s and the 710s and the 610s and all the other numbers, combinations that we haven't discovered yet. Yeah, yeah. But they also love WebOS. They also love the Playbook. If they'd been around 10, 15 years ago, they probably would have decided the Newton was the next thing. It's relatively easy to sell to people like that. True. That's not going to give you 1%, 5%, 10% of the markets. 
Yep. So how do you reach the people in the street whose only point of engagement is in a store for five seconds and they just go, I want a phone? You are right on so many fronts. Um, obviously, things like massive ad campaigns and all of that kind of get the word out. And... Uh, People will be very sick of our advertising in North America by the time summer rolls around, um, which is a good thing. And But you're right. I mean, for us, strong acknowledgement that just the people in the stores, if they don't, the people working in the stores, that is our interface with the outside world. And they influence purchase in a huge, huge way. If we can't win them over and get them to love what we've got and be happy with it and know that they're giving a customer a great product that won't come back and they won't come back angry or confused. Um, those are the guys we're, we're, we've got to work on and um, we're trying really hard. I, we, we did one kind of fun thing at CES where um, I, I had heard this rumbling of a guy named Joe couldn't get more perfect um who is a salesperson uh in northern california who loves windows phone and he got so excited when he found out that nokia was was going to the windows phone platform that he actually dyed his hair blue and this is a guy who outsells everyone in northern california on windows phone devices so we had our people from the retail side come back and say is there anything we can do we need five thousand joes what can we do so what I what I decided to do was I pimped Joe's life at CES. We took Joe to CES and he just had an outrageous time. And we had a video team on him the whole time. And Joe's dancing at the Playboy party. Joe is driving a Ferrari in the desert. Joe is in a helicopter um, over the Grand Canyon. Joe is arm wrestling with Andy Dick at the edge of the Grand Canyon. He's in a penthouse party at Caesars. He's all over the place. And Part of it was kind of a fun way of taking a guy like Joe and just blowing his mind. But part of it was to say, look, you guys matter and your enthusiasm matters. And without you, we fail we, and we will. I mean, it's, it's a hidden bit of marketing in much the same way that the Americans and people who are just looking at black and white might think that planting trees or recycling power adapters or having your power adapters that use 5% less power is, is, a, is a hidden marketing cost when it's a bonus. It, it kind of is. And, you know, it's funny. It, yeah, altruism it has its limits. But I think there's a lot of intersections of doing the right thing at, by the environment, by the customer or whatever, and doing the right thing by the, cust- by the company. I mean, using less materials is a green choice. But at the same time, it costs the company less and it makes for a lighter device. So using less packaging is, is another thing exactly like that. So... <laughs> <laughs> that we have a we have so a, a div- another ringtone on there. <laughs> I so wish there was something horribly, uh, I don't know, palm trio. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you can find one. Um, so you know those intersections exist, and that's what it is. I, I m- part of my role is to come up with really cool, interesting, creative ways to kind of get the word out, and to get folks who have heavy influence over our customer base or potential customer base um, to to use the devices. And I think that what I spend my whole time doing is hunting for those intersections. And the tree program is one of them. So Brett, remind us again where we can find out about the tree program. You can go to www.ijustplantedatree.com and just over the course of the next two days, just look for the hashtag, I just planted a tree. You're going to see a lot of people. I think think we're going to get about 6 million Twitter follower exposure on this. So uh, you guys will see it, and that will answer your mystery. And then the trailer is going to take off. (laughs) Yeah. Getting ready. I could go with that. I could go with that. (laughs) I'm getting ready for the launch, which we don't know when it is. Whenever that is, we'll see you then. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you Brett, thanks for your time. All right. Hey, no, thank you. And uh, everybody, have a good South Bank.